So I've just had a week off of work and while I didn't get a lot of housework done, I did spend some time browsing around Code Canyon. Now I bought a number of things, some of them were a complete waste of money, some of them would be okay but they maybe weren't for me and other things I was really quite happy with. And the plugin I'm most excited about at the moment is Thea Smart Thumbnails. Now I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I hope so. I bought this, best 12 bucks I ever spent and let me show you what it does. So one of the frustrating things for me working with WordPress, which I love, but with WordPress sites and blogs sometimes, is the way that it will crop your featured image for the thumbnails they don't always make sense. Like here, that's actually what my featured image should be, this big plane, and yet the image looks ridiculous. What is that? It makes no sense to anyone. And so I installed this I'm actually using WordPress 3.5 so I've updated that and I'm running this on the thesis framework so this is how it works so to fix that you would go to your media library now what I did the other day was I actually just fixed all of them I run through I just went edit 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 but I want to specifically fix that image so we find that image okay we're just going to click edit and then down below here, there's a whole section that says their smart thumbnail crop. And what we want to do, it's going to show you square portrait or landscape. But what we want to do is move the focal point to say, well, we definitely want, I think it makes more sense to have the front of the plane as the focal point there. So that our thumbnail then is going to look like that square one there. And we're going to update that. And now if we refresh this page, Oh, our thumb looks a lot better. Now how is this going to work with new images? I just grabbed a, we'll just upload a picture. I just grabbed an image, a stock image I thought would be suitable. I probably should have shrunk it, shouldn't I, so it wouldn't take so long. down here in the sidebar again at the moment we can see that's not too bad but we could move the focal point to make sure better fit and if we're doing portrait thumbnails she's going to be right smack in the center and that's how it's going to work in that way so let me just Publish this somewhere. Oh, we better set the featured image. And now we see that she's pretty central to there. That's a good thumb. That's pretty much what we're after. Okay, so that's one of the gems that I've picked up on Code Canyon recently. Um, I've only had it a couple of days. It took me probably less than 20 minutes to do around 300 images. Why not? I mean, for $12, that's, that's a good investment to save me a whole bunch of time messing around doing that in alternative ways. Um, yeah, $12 for a regular license. I don't know the author of the plugin. I don't get any commissions. Um, it's just it worked out really well for me. Um, and yeah, maybe it will for someone else too.